This is the Beagle Cam V2 from Mention, and this tiny little camera setup will allow you to control your 3D printer over Wi Fi, along with being able to monitor everything that's going on and even make quick and easy time lapse videos. And with this being the V2, that means there is a first generation, and there are some very welcome upgrades to this new version. And the packaging is very straightforward and simple, and it does come with some stickers along with an instruction manual. And here's the actual Beagle Cam unit itself which is pretty small and lightweight, and it also comes with an SD card already in it. And I'm happy to see that they actually put threads at the bottom of this, so you can easily mount it to a tripod or any other camera equipment. And you might not think this is a big deal, but this was the mounting setup for the V1. That was so bad that I actually designed my own base plate for this, that you can just 3D print, and I have a link to it in the description below. But anyways, here's everything out of the box. It does have its own little tripod, USB cables, and power brick. And if you're interested in the specs for this, here they are. And the setup of this is pretty straightforward. The white cord is power, and the black cord plugs into the printer. And then you'll also need to connect this to your Wi-Fi as well, using the app on your phone. And once you do that, you'll have full control over your printer through the app. You can also monitor and control everything through your computer if you don't want to use your phone. That being said, this is not compatible with every printer. And here's a list from their website of all the compatible printers. And even if your printer isn't here, as long as it's running Marlin as its firmware, you should be able to make it work. Like how I was able to set this up with my Elegoo Neptune 3 Max. Even though it's not on there as an option. I just selected the Neptune 3 Pro and changed the print size. Another upgrade I wanted to point out about the V2 is the camera itself. It looks like the quality of the picture is much better than before. And you can now manually focus this just by turning it. So now you don't have to move the camera a certain distance away. And you can put it wherever you want and get it in focus. So as I was getting the print footage for this video, I went to lunch. And thought I would check the app to see how everything's going. And found out that it actually failed. So while I was out, I was able to stop my print and keep it from wasting so much filament. And when it comes to slicing your files, you just do exactly what you would normally do, and then just put the file onto the SD card that goes into the BeagleCam. And then you can just start the print from the app. Or you can just upload the file directly to the BeagleCam over Wi-Fi. And you could set up multiple BeagleCams and be able to manage them all through the one app. So this is basically like setting up a Raspberry Pi with OctoPrint. Besides, this is extremely easy to do, and it's basically just plug and play. And I set this up on my smallest and largest 3D printers with absolutely no problem. So this is just a very simple way to make your printers a bit smarter and be able to control them over Wi-Fi. And as of recording this, the V2 is about $90 right now. And if you look in the description, there'll be a discount code down there as well to save you a little more money if you do get one. But if that's still out of your budget, there's always the V1 for $65. And if you don't mind getting a refurbished one, you can pick one up for about $50. So I think that covers just about everything for the Beagle cams. So let me know what your opinions are on these little cameras in the comments below. I actually do want to know what people think of them. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.